Welcome to your City of Greensboro Weekly Flash Briefing. The Greensboro Planning Department has released its latest quarterly GSO 2040 Comprehensive Plan Report. The report is available online and offers an overview on implementation and progress made across the city toward reaching goals for growth. A few examples include the city's budget, water resources, and transportation departments having completed projects that support the goals and visions of the plan. Residents are encouraged to attend a public planning meeting on Thursday, December 2nd to learn more about the East Gate City Boulevard plan. For more information, visit the planning department's website. The City of Greensboro was named one of the top-ranked digital city governments by the Center for Digital Government. The Gate City places eighth among cities with a population between 250,000 and just shy of 500,000. The city made several technology advancements in 2021. One example is a police transparency dashboard allowing residents to view and filter various law enforcement data. The City of Greensboro no longer routes paper contracts. DocuSign reduces time by routing contracts electronically. Finally, the city standardized the equipment and software used by its three drone teams, enabling them to share technology and implement best practices. The International Civil Rights Center and Museum will host its annual fundraising gala on Saturday, February 5th at the Cory Convention Center. The museum will mark the 62nd anniversary of America's most recognized lunch counter sit-in protest against segregated eating establishments in the South. This also marks the 12th anniversary of the museum's existence. The doors will open at 6 p.m. and the program will begin at 6.30 p.m. For a reduced rate, the program will also stream live for those who are not able to attend in person. The gala celebrates national and local activists who have made significant contributions to advancing civil and human rights while helping communities bridge the generations of social movements. For more information or to purchase tickets, please visit the Civil Rights Museum website at sitinmovement.org. The City of Greensboro is making it as convenient as a click of the computer mouse for anyone interested in viewing active building permits. The permits can be accessed from the city's new online portal. It's as simple as users filtering active building permits by address, application type, occupancy type, floodplain, land use type, or city council district. To view the permit information, click on a permit once it appears on the map. The portal includes a permit metrics tab to view a comparison of the previous five years of building permits. The portal also contains useful links to permitting applications and plan review. This concludes the weekly flash briefing for the City of Greensboro. For in-depth news, tune in to FYI Weekly on Greensboro Television Network on Spectrum, AT&T, North State, and Roku. Keep up with the latest city news on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Be sure to download our weekly podcast, Talk City Greensboro. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for our next Flash Briefing.